Hey, what is up guys? This is Assam. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make scroll in grid layout in Python TV. So, first of all, I'm going to create a Python file. Let's say main.py. And then I'm going to create a KB file, okay? Let's say layout. Oh, sorry guys, my bad. I'm going to name this as ui.kb. Okay, after that, uh, I'm going to split this screen and then I'm going to import MDF from TBMD. Sorry, guys, I did a spelling mistake from TBMD.app import MDF. After that, I'm going to import. After that, I'm going to import float layout. Okay, so from tv dot uix dot float layout import float layout, and then I'm going to import our Jupyter module from tv dot blank. Okay, from tv dot blank import builder. After that, I'm going to create a class. Let's say um, layout. And this class is going to inherit from float layout. Okay, I'm going to pass in this class and then I'm going to create our main class. Okay, and this class is going to inherit from our MDF class. Okay, now I'm going to call a default function of MDF. So build and let me pass the self argument. Okay, now I'm going to return our layout class. Okay, layout. Before returning the layout class, I must load our ui.kb file. Okay, so I'm going to use our builder module and then I'm going to load our kb file. Okay, string. So, last but not the least, I'm going to run our main class by main method. No, sorry, guys, by run method. And in our ui.kb file, I am going to call our layout class, okay? Layout. Okay. Here, first of all, I'm going to import the scroll view widget. And then I'm going to set the size. And it will be default, okay? After that, I'm going to import, import grid layout. I'm going to use grid layout. So I must call the layout widget. Okay. I am going to scroll by y axis using this layout. So I'm going to set the sizing of y axis to none. Okay. And then I'm going to set the height as minimum. Okay. Self dot minimum. After that, I'm going to set the white and it will be also the minimum white. So, self dot minimum white. So, yes, my bad. Okay. After that, I'm going to set the column and it will be true. And then I'm going to set, I'm going to add some spacing. Okay, let's set 20 dp. I think it is standard for our project. And then I'm going to add some padding. Okay, it will be also 20 dp. Okay. Now I'm going to add MD card widget to our grid layout. Okay. Let me set the orientation as vertical and then I'm going to add some I'm going to add some padding to our MD card, let's say ATP and then I'm going to set the sizing, okay? And the sizing of X axis 
to be 1 and the y axis to be 9. Okay. Now I'm going to set the height of our card. So the so the standard card for our project is well, it should be 10 dp, I think. And then I'm going to set some elevation, let's say for or height. Now I want the card as rounded, so I'm going to set the border radius to 20 and then I'm going to set the radius and, and radius is a dictionary property so so it says the radius is a list property and I'm going to set the radius as 15 and then I'm going to copy this card and paste it a couple of times okay let me fix the indentation. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, now I'm going to run my program and let's see if it is working or not. Okay, before running our program, let me reset my window. And I'm going to import window class from pd.4. And I'm going to resize this window. Window.size. Window.size is let's say 360 and the height will be 6. Okay. Now I'm going to run my program. Okay, guys, we can see some cards in a window and it is scrolling down. So, guys, I think our project is successfully done. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and keep watching.